come with me to do an ovarian reserve screening test. Except I don't have to leave my house. Bird and Bee just released their ovarian reserve screening test. It's an at-home test. You just pee on it. I am seriously the biggest advocate for proactive testing. And honestly, having these so accessible that you could just order them online and do it in the comfort of your own home is incredible. All right, let's go. These are testing your FSH, which is follicle stimulating hormone. A higher FSH can be an indicator of lower ovarian reserves because it's taking more hormone to create a mature egg. You do need to do this test on cycle day three of your period in the morning, which it is now for me. You're gonna take the little strip and just dip it in for 10 seconds, and then you're gonna lay it flat and set a timer for 10 minutes. I am the biggest advocate for proactive testing. Doing proactive testing when you're trying to conceive can be a really useful tool and a good indicator of if and when you need to see a specialist. It helps you make informed decisions about your fertility. Okay, we're gonna wait 10 minutes now. Okay, my timer just went off, so this is done. It comes with a color reference chart, so we are going to put this underneath and see where we're at. Okay, so this is the control line, this is the test line. Looking at it, I think that mine is like right around five. So for my age, I'm 27, that is a normal FSH level. It's the coolest thing in the whole entire world and the fact that I was able to do this in the comfort of my own home and get accurate results is amazing. And I know these are accurate because I just had my blood work done not too long ago and these match up with it. This is such a useful test to get insight on your ovarian reserves and to screen for low ovarian reserves.